it's got some really exciting cool stuff this light has some water in it it also doesn't work and then right here there's a nice crack going up all the way down and there's a little bit of defect in the surface there's some discoloration in the pool surface and some efflorescence happening and on this side of the hot tub there is another good crack and then right over here you can see some heaving happening the deck is starting to pop up you got some good cracking happening and then on this side the deck is starting to settle got a nice finger size crack right there and you can see that good slope Whoop. All right, on today's episode of This Old House, we're going to go ahead and check out the kitchen. Let's see what we have to work with. Uh, first, we're going to enter the uh, living room here. Also, the office and the workshop. All right, entering the kitchen. Let's see. Oh, can I get some dishes? Uh, no dishwasher. I don't know that the oven is going to be functioning today. Oh, no electricity. All right. And let's go into the grand room in the front of the house. This place was lit once upon a time. And quite the party. Here we go. That's my first time seeing knob and tubing. Oh yeah? Yep. So I think that explains the rest of the surroundings, possibly. Jackpot. All right, doing a stucco inspection today. Not really looking for this, but looky, looky what I see. Oh, there we go. Got him. So this is the backyard of the house I'm inspecting, running the sprinkler system. And that's the neighbor's yard that my sprinkler system is watering. Oops. Zone seven bubbling up. This water heater has some dissimilar metals at the top. It's a whirlpool. The temperature and pressure relief valve is observed to be going up. There's no drain line on the drain pan. I guess you could say that this water heater is just kind of hanging in there. I spy with my little eye an overheating corroded double tab. And tick. AC's been running for about, oh, three hours. Doing a stucco inspection today, not really looking for this, but looky, looky what I see.
Oh, there we go. Got him. All right, so we're gonna turn this vent, this vent hood on. Get the exhaust outside. We'll walk out here, walk out into this converted area to where it's a room now. There's the exhaust. So I decided to check it with a moisture meter. I scanned it down here. It's pretty dry. And then as I got closer to the window, the, level, the level went up a little bit. So I checked it with the, the stabby stabby. It's wet. Got some pitting back here. Some lifting around the cast iron drain vents. Some rusting and out of date bonnet vents. Some more lifting. And we got an improperly installed flashing with some improper fasteners. And last but not least, shingles being used as flashing. Oh, this needs paint too. Got a little bit of tube starting there. Go up the door frame. Looks like somebody knocked that tube down. All right, so at a new construction here today, we will learn the importance of sealing your storm collar. So right above this light fixture is the water heater and they have not sealed the storm collar on the vent pipe. So it has been raining a lot here and water is getting in and now it is going on to the ceiling. You can see the water dripping in the light fixture and then there's under the thermal camera. It's also been making its way down here onto the floor. This is all wet as well. So definitely something the builder is going to have to get on right away. Let's talk about the first thing that bubbles up. There you go, Josh. Little old guy. See you later, buddy. Some damaged attic ladder components. I poked a hole in what looked like a water stain, and these termites came popping out of there. Booyah. Look at those guys. Going nuts. Hmm. This tree's got a nice little carpenter ant colony living in it. Looks like they 
they've been here for a while. And this thing is like hollow. Oh, messed up part of their house. Sitter beware. After arriving in the attic, I noticed that the insulation had a darker tint in this area. And upon further investigation, I realized that this is lint. So, searched around for the dryer exhaust vent tube, but I did not find it until I looked a little bit closer. 